Okay, hi, this is Mark, and I am excited to share a longer video format than I normally do. Uh, I usually try to get to the, you know, two to five minute mark here, but this is, this is like going to be like 20 minutes. I think by the time I edited a little bit, it's exciting to have uh, Brady Thomas from Discovery Education share about the Discovery Education experience. As you log in your first time, um, we have a specific uh, personalization screen. So we want to kind of make sure you get specific resources on your homepage um, that uh, you can, you know, recommended things specific to your grade level, your interest. Um, so, you know, just to kind of get this going, this is just a, a one time thing. You can go back and modify later. Um, but if you select your grade bands and then you can select your, your interests so maybe math, science, social studies. Um, sports, social emotional learning is big right now, of course, STEM. So um, you're not, you can select them all if you want. So of course you're going to get everything um, on your homepage there. But once you do that, you're going to get, go into um, the entire Discovery Education Experience platform. And just to kind of give you a quick overview, um, from top to bottom, you have your different areas here. So you can actually search uh, for resources by subject, by standard, um, and then ultimately, these uh, the, the purple boxes here are more specific to you and your classes. So if my content area is very similar to adding content um, that you want to, if you think about saving things in your Google Drive or your shared folder or even like on your desktop, that's kind of like the my content area. Studio is our builder tool. Uh, we probably won't go deep into that uh, yeah, in that's, short that's video. Drive. I, I'm yep. still trying to wrap my mind around it and tinker with tinker with it, but it's a it's like a playground, man. It is, and there's a lot of cool functionality in there now. We're we're actually adding to it and having some more updates uh, in the next couple of weeks. Assessment builder, um, and then classrooms uh, with with everyone in Linwood. You should have your classes already uh, in there via uh, Clever, so all your teachers, all your oh, students right. have access uh, right. directly through Clever. Um, and then some of our most, um, you know, I guess unique areas within Discovery Education is instructional strategies. We have a over 130 instructional strategies that can be used in your classroom, that can be used in virtual, so they can easily be modified. Um, because ultimately, the resources are phenomenal, but we also want students to engage and interact um, with the content and resources as well. Professional learning is probably one of a kind, um, but as professional learning on demand, um, we have specific resources, PDFs, um, yeah. All sorts of different, uh, you know, things for teachers to learn in like micro credential, micro credentials, or just kind of chunking PL. Yeah. Um, so that's available as well. I and then we have our educator like network, which is our professional learning area. So think of it as a professional learning community. Sorry, yeah. professional learning community, a PLC or PLN, a professional learning network, depending on what you guys call it. Um, but you can actually connect with other educators who have Discover Education experience. So just want to quickly talk through those you know, options here at the top, they're also available within the waffle up here. Um, oh, so you can kind of see what's available to you so that it is right. there. That's right. It's, it's kind of part of it, Brady, I think is just getting familiar with the way things are laid out. But also, it, it truly, it, it honestly like, truly is. It truly go, is. Just to go through it that quick. It's like, what did you just say? That is a lot to take in, you know, but it's exciting. It is a lot. And, and, and honestly, my, my recommendation, um, you know, most teachers go directly to search and search was completely fine. We're going to do that here in a second. But I would say these three here are really, truly unique to the teacher um, because you need some strategies. You don't want to press. If you find a video, you don't want to press play and walk away. You want to do something. You want to have the students interact with it, be in any of those strategies that are available. And then, of course, professional learning is not just specific to click and here, click here, click there. It's how to utilize instructional strategies, how to meet STEM resource or how to um, you know, support your SEL students or SEL in general, um, EL yeah. components. There's all sorts of stuff in there. I mean, you could get lost within the professional learning section too. So, um, you know, as a teacher, I would probably just want to explore these, um, you know, to kind of get going. Uh, just because again, you, 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 there's going to be tons of resources that are available that you can easily find, but to truly like incorporate those and make them meaningful um, in your classroom, those, those are going to be two great areas. So, all right. Uh, as we kind of go down, uh, so your recommended uh, recommended is is basically the the personalized options based on when you first went into Discover Education, filled out those grade bands, filled out your interests. Oh, I um, see that builds the recommendations. Huh? It does. It does build the recommendations, and then also like it, we we understand like um, you know current events and things everyone's talking about. We use the recommended row too to to pop some other items in there. For instance, 
um, you know, inauguration day and things like that. We had those some of those resources automatically populated yeah. here with recommended for teachers, so yeah. they can see it fr front and center. Even though they may not be a social studies teacher, it is still relevant to all their te all the all their students and of course yeah. society in general. So. Um, so these obviously will change, um, you know, de weekly depending on you know how often things get updated. Um, we then we we do have two curriculum packs for you guys right now during this process. We have STEM Connect and coding. Um, we just had them uh, available. They're completely optional. You don't have to go in there, but we did want to make those available if there was an interest from a teacher uh, standpoint. Really? See, I'm learning a lot today. I didn't know that was there too. So. Yep. So STEM and it's again that's a, that could be a whole another deep dive session. Um, but yeah. if Honestly, coding is super easy to use from a student viewpoint. It is very student self-centered, student paced. So if a student wants to click on that, learn some different coding, they can definitely do that. Teachers also have the ability to assign that out too. So just quickly on those. And then you have your My Channels. So your My Channels are gonna be, um, again, based on what's the personalization. So how you kind of set that up. Um, but then also we always give like some of those default ones. So like if you're a K two, three, five teacher, we're gonna give you basically all subject areas because majority of those teachers teach all subject areas. Um, and then, uh, you know, depending on if you choose science, we get some more science items and things like that. So yeah. your channel is kind of like your, what you subscribe to. I, mean, I don't like to use the Netflix, uh, analogy, but ultimately, you know, like recommended, yeah. we have our recommended row, but then your channels are the ones like, Ooh, this one's coming up next. I want to remember yeah. that one. So you're it's always easily yeah. available here on your home, that's home screen. That's, that's a, that's a terminology that's really common. So. <laughs> it is. It is. So, yeah, in in with it. these are on like again, these kind of are pre-populated as a teacher yourself goes directly in here. If you click more info, like if you're not a social studies teacher and it popped up, you can just hit unsubscribe, and it will get it will remove from here. These are also drag and drop. So if you really want to get started, guide to virtual learning as like the top channel. These can be moved around from the teacher view. So super easy to use. See, I and channel have known. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> I would. I might have just figured it out. But that's cool. Well, virtual field trips, of course, is one of our popular ones. Um, and just so everyone can kind of see, um, if I click in here, each channel is basically a, a curated content area. Um, so the, the, it's not just random virtual field trip information. It's curated based on grade band. Um, and given if we were open to mathematics, maybe even curated specific to concept. Um, but you can kind of see the full videos, any resources that are available, student learning activities popular virtual field trips. So you can kind of truly go into that specific channel topic and find something for your grade level, um, be it again, a video, could be a learning activity, items like that. So any quick, any questions on channels? We'll, we'll dive a little bit deeper, but I just want to get them, like, like you said earlier, yeah. the, the main page, the home page is kind of where everything gets going. Oh boy, like, you know, like I said, I think a couple times, it's just amazing. I mean, it's a lot to take in. And, and so I would just tell people, just, you know, just be open because it's, they have put a lot of work into this and a lot of, a, a lot of time and money, you know, to get this to a level that you can use it as a teacher and not have to waste time. You know, because it's it's essentially a professionally curated media warehouse or something like that. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So, and and speaking of that, of course, you can drill down by subject or standard. Yeah. But just to kind of show you how much is available to to you and your students, and and you, of course, students can go in here and search as well with their specific logins. Um, they can save items, so you know you, you don't have to worry about any inappropriate ads or a YouTube pop up or something like that. Um, but if I just do a completely open-ended search, no keywords, you'll see um, that as of today, and this obviously changes, we have over 194,000 resources. Um, so that's total resources within the platform. And wow. if it, this is kind of where it gets, uh, you can get creative. And to be honest, um, if you took five minutes every day or just a minute every day to try to find something new, you will find something new. Um, there's all sorts of content that you're just not gonna get through. Um, and I stumble across something cool every day. We actually have like a, an internal, yeah. an internal conversation. Um, that's kind of like a, we use Slack for internal conversations. Um, we have a channel that's called DE Gold and things that we find that we had no idea um, was was available. And so we throw we throw right. some items in there. You didn't so even know that was there, right? Exactly, because that's again, we're so 
exactly. Our publishers and all are just always adding new content. Of course, we are as well. Um, but just as we kind of drill through, and, and again, if you do a keyword search or, or any sort of phrase, you're going to get the same filters. So by default, you're, you, can, you're, you don't have a subject. You can drill down by subject. You can filter by your grade bands. Just again, just as a, as a completely open search as if you're searching Google. Um, you then have your different media assets. So our channels are, again, our curated content channels that we have Magic School Bus. Um, I know, I, I can't remember, John, did you say there was elementary teachers involved or are you working with elementary group? Re, are, did you have an elementary school or elementary group of teachers you're working with? Me? Yes, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said Dominique. I don't oh. know why, but uh, yes, I do. So I Magic, yeah, Magic School Bus is, a, is obviously a huge, a huge one with us. Um, oh, yeah. And then a lot of our channels, and this is starting to be more and more. So it's 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 it started as just one or two channels. I think we're over twenty now. But there's a language option here where all the resources directly within the channel are also available in Spanish. So you have that as well. So amazing! That's so cool. Yes. So just again, it, and it's not every channel. Just you know, as, if you see that A A within a channel, that means there are Spanish resources available as well. So just backing out. Um, so right now we have over 653 curated content channels. If we look at videos, um, there are probably 100,000 videos. Um, images, of course, text. Text are gonna be similar to like encyclopedia articles, PDFs, activities. Um, so you have those, we're, we're just not videos. Um, so that's kind of where I'm getting at here. Right. We also have any boards, which are studio boards. I know we kind of touched on studio at the very beginning, but ultimately we have pre-created boards um, that teachers can literally grab and go. Um, as their lesson. So they do not have to like recreate the will. You can do a search for studio boards and their their discovery education built and right. that you can kind of hit the, you know, have the resources, have the activities ready to go within there um, to, to use with your students. So again, you do not have to recreate the will. There, there are a ton of grab and go uh, studio boards ready to go. And then if we click on more, we have several other options. So we have audio files, interactives, lesson materials and professional learning, which of course are gonna be more teacher focused. Um, but if I go to audio, because this is something that I wish I would have known when I had Discovery Education in my classroom, yeah. um, we have close to 9,000 um, audio files, or so excuse me, audio uh, assets. You can filter down, and depending on which one you choose here at the top, you can yeah. filter down by type. So I can look at audio books. So we have over 1,400 oh, audio books. We have various, we have various podcasts. So we have over almost, well, over 700 podcasts, of various topics. We have songs for your younger elementaries. Um, so you can kind of just see those audio files um, are, are excellent there as well. The other thing too I'll show, because um, this is a hidden gem that I wish I would have known about again. So I'm, I'm going with my experience and what I wish I would have known. Right. Um, but if I switch to video, yeah. you have a math explanation here. And basically a math explanation um, are, is a teacher screen recording his or her screen of how to kind of solve specific math problems. So you see there's over 10,000 of them. So if you were to drill down by grade band oh topic God. specifically, you have a, you know, any sort of specific learning that if a student, you know, I felt like I was a good teacher, but sometimes a te uh, one of my students just had to hear it a different way. So here's an opportunity for that. Or if you're looking for more of a flipped lesson kind of approach, you, you do not have to screen record yourself. You could utilize one of these. So. Um, yeah. Again, these filters on the left vary depending on what's chosen up here. Um, but the math explanations, the audiobooks, and the podcast are three of my favorites because, again, I had no idea Discovery Education had them. I thought it was just videos. And these are just things that I, I wish I would have known when I was in the classroom. Are you a math teacher? I was, I was actually fourth grade, and then I did middle school math as well, yes. Oh, you did both worlds. That's cool. I did both. I was elementary and middle. Um, I almost went to high school, but I, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I almost taught algebra in high school, but I did not. So I, 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 I middle school was as high as I went. <laughs> I taught some high school classes. And I was like, okay, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so is I know we're trying to keep this as short as far as the recording. Is there anything yeah. specific like that caught your eye that you want me to go a little bit more deeper into just in case you take these, this video and cut it into sections or things like that? Um, boy, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to capture like the, I have so many ahas, you know, <laughs> like, oh my, like just that piece about, 
uh, audio and I didn't realize that there were curated podcasts and music. I Yeah, I so like, what? Well, one of my honestly one of my favorite things to do is we're all the content's always being updated. So if I go all and then what I just like to see is what's been added recently. So I'm just going to all resources. Mm -hmm. If most popular is default, I just do recently added and see some of those recently added things. So we have an Internet Explorer channel, which focuses on our SEL. It's brand new. So social emotional learning. Um, and then oh. just kind of all these different presentations are there. So we have a newsy. We have Cheddar as far as current events already implemented in here. So you can kind of yeah. see exactly all those current events and things. I also like to see we things get released before they tell us, which is, is, is completely fine. I wanted to get to teachers as quickly as possible, but if uh -huh. I click channels and I do recently added as well, you can see all the different learning channels. We have early learning, which is going to be very heavily focused for your pre-K and kindergarten students. Yeah. Um, but then we have all sorts of different just channels, common sense in both English and Spanish. So we um, I partnered with common sense education, have a lot of their resources, everyday speech, dig into mining, um, so you can kind of see we're always, always, always adding, uh, you know, new channels, of course, for curated content, but yeah. uh, as well as videos and things, of course, that, that are always going to be added and, and updated. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot. I completely forgot one more thing. I apologize. So I'm going to go yeah. all. <laughs> hey, man, and um, so de again, depending on what you choose here at the top, the, your filters on your left are going to change. Um, but you can look at reading levels by grade level, Lexile level, but then ultimately too, you can find different uh, resources in, in various languages as well. So That's Spanish, of course, you're going to have more. It's like uh, the video content. Well, of course, it's it's only done in a couple languages. But then as far as print content, yeah, you can do all these other languages, right? Yeah, absolutely. But even some of our um, media resources are in um, other languages as well. So I'm going to click French, hoping that I'm not wrong. But we do have resources in French. Um, but the activities, of course, are in French as well. So you have, again, tons of tons of different options. Just unplug my headphones. Oh, good. OK, I'm back. Perfect. Um, the other thing, and again, if I'm going too deep, you can stop me at any time. Um, but if we. On, on your main page by default, all teachers will have this instructional inspiration channel. And I did kind of touch on quickly about the pre-made studio boards, um, Studio B and our builder tool. But this is our grab and go content. Um, so if I wanted to e uh, English language arts here, um, how the alphabet was made, tall tell. Mm -hmm. I have my studio board that can pre be presented to students. I can also assign this out. So again, uh, Linwood has everything rostered through Clever. So if you click assign, Oop, you know what? I don't think I have any classes in this account. So I do not have any classes. That's going to give me an error message. But as a teacher, you'll be able to choose your, your date, your start date, your end date. Of course, um, these are link shareable as well. So if your teacher is using Google Classroom, you can share it directly to Google Classroom. Um, but what's nice about this, and I don't know if this is the best board to show it, uh, two weeks ago, we launched uh, Immersive Reader within Studio, which is oh, really? uh, a partnership with Microsoft we currently have. So yeah. any board that we created or any board a teacher or student creates, this will automatically be included. So I'm not sure how much um, this is going to read, but you can see yeah. the reader opens up. It'll read to tall, students. Tall tales. If you um, you have your text preferences, and again, I'm not yeah. sure how familiar you are with Immersive Reader, yeah, yeah. Um, grammar options, but then it will also translate into you know any language as well that's available within uh, Immersive Reader. So if a teacher has a student that may not be, you know, Spanish is one that's, you know, we have a ton of resources for, but maybe it's Arabic or something like that. We yeah. could, a uh, teacher could copy paste the content to a studio board, assign that out to the student, um, and they could translate it to whatever language that they, they specifically need. So just different yeah. ideas of how to utilize everything directly within Discover Education, and you don't have to go anywhere else. Oh, man. <laughs> this is really fantastic. So, I guess I would say, um, as you can tell, and I'm speaking to whoever's um, watching this far into the video, if you have, thank you. Um, I just think that once you start to see the depth of um, the discovery education experience, you'll, I don't know, feel a sense of, like I have a sense of reassurance that there really are uh, curated resources out there and it's such a different experience than trying to build content on your own with, um, you know, that red uh, streaming service, what's it called? <laughs> or whatever uh, video resources 
not just video though you know i think they have this concept that it's it's all media right so i don't know yep. i could go i could go on and on and i'm the one that said hey let's try to keep it short <laughs> <laughs> but you know honestly we could we could literally go an hour um and i, know, I could I spend 30 minutes searching i could spend 30 minutes in the strategies i could spend i could probably spend two hours in professional learning of, of things to help you find um, but again, just to kind of circle back up, you know, as you find a resource, um, the, uh, you, you want to, you want to engage your students. You want to make sure they're interact, they're interacting with those, our resources, be it a video, be it a, a reading passage, uh, an audio book, anything like that. So we do have all these instructional strategies that are, that are super easy to get to. They're, uh, broken down by various, uh, ideas, assessments, inference and prediction, um, but then we also have, we're starting to build out videos specifically for students. So we do, uh, most of the strategies are teacher facing and how to use it and how to modify it. Um, but we do have some videos that the teacher can share with the student that says, hey, this is the strategy I want you to use. Check out this one minute video and it tells the students what they're doing. The other thing too that's, that's really, um, that, that's I think phenomenal, uh, but we, uh, with each specific teacher video, oh, sorry, this was for students. I clicked the wrong one. If I go to, um, let's go to a most popular AI use one that you will see all the time. Um, but all of our um, strategies, once it opens up, my internet, my dollop internet is slowing me down here at the end. Um, <laughs> you got mail. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let me see. Oh, I keep clicking the ones for students. I need to find one for a teacher. Let me get going. So it's loading, loading. I like that. Students, students, students. I need just the right resource at just the right time. Exactly. All right, so here it is. Oh, AIU. It doesn't say for students, like I clicked on the other one. Um, but this, with the teacher video, the PDF, um, there's a accompanying PDF that kind of gives a quicker, like a quick overview. Um, so the big idea, but then we also have the McCrell phases of learning that that specific strategy meets as well. So, you know, it kind of helps the teacher understand like, all right, what are my, what, what specific phase of learning or will my students be? meeting um, specific to the strategy. So again, what skills are, are broken down, what materials are needed. Um, and you know, uh, we I've actually worked a curriculum coordinator before where uh, each staff meeting that they happen to do every two weeks, yeah. they printed off a new strategy, gave it all, gave it to the, the teachers. Then the next two weeks, they went around trying to take pictures of the students actually doing that strategy. And they had a nice little bulletin board out front. So yeah. again, just ways to, um, you know, we, we want, we know there's a ton of resources and items here for teachers and students, but we also want students to engage with that um, as well. So uh, yeah. just tons of different ideas as far as strategies. Okay. Um, I have another meeting, but um, I want to say that, you know, I want to say in conclusion, but I feel like we're just at the beginning, you know, and I really appreciate your time today, Brady and Dominique. I know you didn't say much, but you're just as much a part of this. So, Well, John, also what I'd love to offer too is if any of your teachers want some one-on-one -on -one help or help building a lesson, um, I'm, I'm your girl for that. Okay. Okay. That's so, great. So um, let this suffice, at least for now, of the, uh, to share the enthusiasm and the hope that mm -hmm. um, this kind of digital media can provide especially during the time that we're in, you know, and uh, so be encouraged and um, hopefully we can get together soon and maybe go a little deeper into becoming a content creator, you know, with uh, all the, all the bells and whistles, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Right. Well, hap exactly. So happy to help. And then, you know, if, if there's another quick overview you want, we'll, we'll definitely schedule that and, and help you out. All right, you guys. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.